<clears throat> hey, um, I, uh, I was just looking over this uh, video here. Um, it's called What Will Happen When Earth's North and South Pole Flip. Um, and they're saying, um, I was watching it yesterday, and I might have misread the video, uh, but it said that the, uh, the uh, poles were moving at like 261 miles a year. Uh, but I watched the video again today and it said 25 miles a year. And I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I, whatever, I thought it was 261, but now it's 25. Okay. But if you watch this, uh, you can see that this has been happening, uh, for a long time. It's been moving a long time. Okay. Um, and, uh, what we... We have all of these videos on here for everybody's, um, for everybody to see, and they're, they're done by scientists and universities and and all different kinds of people that are making videos, trying you know these are reports from people all over the globe, and they're independent people, they're doing independent research. Um, it's all somebody else. It's not somebody sitting down and telling you um, that uh, Chicken Little, it's Chicken Little, okay. Uh, but uh, I wanted to say something about Gaia and all of the uh, uh, global scientists were Gaia and uh, what, what we, what's happening now in the world with this war that they're planning or the war that they're bringing about um, is because of the world population, okay? Uh, if you look up uh, on your videos there, you can see uh, the videos on world population and the projection of world populations. Um, and, and, and that's what this war is all about. Um, but uh, that's the main reason. And, of course, everybody's going to jump in. They're going to jump in. And somebody's making a video. They're going to jump in. And this person has a certain kind of power. And when he speaks, people listen. So it's just like a power cord being plugged in somewhere. Okay? It's, it's being plugged in. And uh, if it's cut by somebody for some reason, whatever that reason is, um, it's cut. And the cuts are missing in our hindrance of um, not only United States law, which is obstruction of the administration of government or obstruction of justice, whichever one you want to figure out there. Um, that's that one. And then there's hindrance to international treaties, which is um, either the Hague or the UN, um, maybe the Vatican, uh, but um, it's a hindrance to international law, and it's against the law in the United States, um, and I sent an email about uh, this uh, magistrate judge here in Jeanette, Pennsylvania, and uh, the Greensburg Courthouse uh, and General Westmoreland in Vietnam uh, in the 19, early 1970s. And uh, I was six years old in 70, 72, 71. In, 72, in, in December 31st, 1971, I became six years old. Uh, and I was six years old all through 1972. Uh, but at the last day of the year, I had my birthday on December 31st, and I became, became seven. So in 1973, I was seven. Okay. Now, I was talking about something there. Somebody uh, gets involved. They have what they're thinking about. Uh, and then there's this magical power there 
uh, and I forgot exactly what I was saying. Um, but, um, okay, so keeping your thoughts and um, feelings to yourself has always been something that I've told someone, you know, and I, in past years, uh, I was dealing with this in uh, the situation which we were dealing with, and I kind of lost my temper. I was a young fella, and I lost my temper, and I I obtained a uh, image or a character, a personality that everybody understood as me at, uh, from 30 or 40 years ago, uh, and uh, that particularly here in this town of Jeanette, the last time I was here is in 92. I stayed here for about six months. Um, but that is where uh, people, uh, I, I moved to Florida and I, 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 the backwards, the golden rules are backwards here. And the state uses that to gather intelligence and to control the people here in this state. Um, but um, I dealt with that. I didn't realize that in 92. And after I left here, I cut off all communications with this area and, my, and this family up here that I'm supposedly related to. Uh, and... Um, they don't know anything about me since that time. And they, and here I have this image or this uh, personification uh, uh, that they understand. And they're trying to use that as a soul. That's what that is. It's a soul. Um, if you spell the word soul, you have a soul that is um, interjected. It's uh, like putting gunpowder in a in a in a bullet. Uh, you you inject it or you insert that soul into a body, uh, and that's the new. That's what that body is now. Is it's that soul and and it, with its body. Okay, and uh, there was a movie made about that in the 70s which was backwards and it was called invasion of the body snatchers okay but it's backwards but we're talking about it the other way where there's a demon or a demon spirit a demon soul that is possessing your body uh, and it's not you and all the only thing that uh differentiates between the real you and that evil spirit is uh, you're combating that with a composition of composure. Uh, you write down whatever composition you want for yourself and you control that for yourself and that's what you are and you've got your soul down there on paper however you want it comprised and you can put it in a uh, uh, computer memory bank as a written document uh, and always come back to it and say, okay, well, this is what I am here and this is what I'm supposed to be. What am I going to do now? And uh, that is what I've been trying to tell everybody to do here with a composition of composure. And of course, I'm talking with that power cord uh, that it's jumping in on your power cord. That's like a splice in, into a into a uh, extension cord or or power cord. Okay, um, but um, so okay, so the power cord. What was I going to say there? Uh, it's a real important issue right there. I was going to say something. And as soon as I said that, it's such an important issue that as soon as somebody hears it, it's a great big deal. And, oh, I have to have that. It's something that's in 
the devil's world. It's, it's something that's external. Okay, um, now I can't remember exactly what that is, but there is, uh, oh, it's a SWOT analysis, okay? That, that SWOT analysis will explain to you um, that whatever it is that you run into, that you see that's so important, that you have to have, you have to control that thing, whatever it is. Um, well, okay, that's fine, but you have to be courteous too. You have to consider other people. You have to be respectful and really understand that all you're doing there is reacting to a delusion that your mind has created, which is an illusion that you perceive and it interferes with other people. And with that SWOT analysis, um, all you have to do is understand that these are external um, a strength, uh, of course, is a benefit. It's an opportunity. Um, it's, it's uh, okay, so uh, let's push the guy this way and try to say that we have a great job for you or a great paycheck, a great payoff for you here. And we'll push this guy this way. And that, of course, is the hockey puck. Um, and I don't want to get it, keep talking about the Penguins and uh, the Stanley Cup and Three's Company. And, uh, you know, that's... Uh, uh, now we have all of these people that are real important here that can be so rude and imposing in another person's personal heaven uh, that is a spiritual attack uh, that they don't want anyone to recognize uh, and you have a potential to uh, file a civil lawsuit using an affidavit um, and there's a uh, scripture in the Bible that says uh, when two or more are gathered together in my name well if you're gathered together in someone's name you're gathered together in a, uh, a, a purpose of courteousness and consideration the golden let the golden rules be your guide to understanding that um but uh okay so what 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 i wanted to say was that this polar shift here um what that is is we don't know what that when that's going to happen we don't know um uh there there's no way to, for us i'm sure right now at the present time Hi, Joe, uh, uh, that uh, there's no way to really uh, predict how or what's going to happen here with this thing. But what I wanted to say was that this thing is moving. There's something happening in the core of the planet and all of the tectonic plates are moving. Um, and uh, there's a possibility that when this happens, uh, with the, what's happening in the core and the tectonic plates moving, it could uh, affect um, Yosemite uh, and uh, all kinds of earthquakes and volcanoes all around the world. Um, but and if 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 Yosemite were to erupt, it's going to be the end for the planet. And what we have is. Uh, the walls around the city, enclosing the city and making the city fly, uh, which would work, which uh, was planned. It's part of the Dayton Peace Agreement. It was planned to be that the cities would be enclosed uh, and all properties within the cities would be annexed by the city. The, the city could have a token plan or incorporate in order to pay for all those properties. And if the city police departments uh, 
or to have a mandatory incorporation for all the residents of the city, it would make everything run very smoothly in that city um, for enclosing it, making it fly, uh, having people, uh, having only business charged rent for um, be, having a place in the city, you know, for a business. Um, <coughs> A business place okay so if you incorporate everything's going to run smoothly everybody's going to have money from the beginning and everything will work uh, as there won't be uh, arbitrary monetary uh, restraints and and um, problems with the people that you're dealing with it, everything is all, all you're talking about there is <clears throat> getting people to do what you want them to do as the city council. Um, and you have all your city government there to do everything that a city does. Okay, so um, what I was trying to say here with this polar shift was that if Yosemite explodes or erupts, Hi, Joe. If Yosemite erupts, um, it's the end of the planet. So what we have here is a step plan for enclosing the cities to make them fly. And what the plan was, was for if this, if this happens, uh, we have somewhere to go in space as cities as space stations. But uh, what we also have is the planet of Venus, and um, that we were trying to do the cleaning of the atmosphere and uh, taking the carbon out of the atmosphere and transferring it to Venus in order to, to make the uh, planet Venus, uh, when you mix the chemicals, the, the chemicals fit together and they'll make uh, the planet Venus much more Earth-like um, if the temperature of the atmosphere on Venus is uh, equal to what or near what the planet Earth has. And so what you have to do there is take the planet Venus and nudge it out of its orbit uh, and uh, while it's rotating around the sun, uh, you have to monitor it and put it in a different orbit. Um, and all you need to do is nudge it a little bit and it's going to continue around the sun and gradually move out to uh, an Earth-like orbit. And when that happens, uh, you have to nudge it back into the orbit that you want of course, but see what's going to happen is the atmosphere on Venus, the temperature is going to drop. Um, and when that happens, the chemical reactions within the atmosphere are going to create a much different atmosphere. And um, with this polar shift, now we have the cities that are going to be able to fly and we can put them on planet Venus. Uh, and this war that they're, they're starting here for uh, the global population, uh, which they're, they're very quiet about this, uh, but um, that's what it's about. And uh, the, the solution is what I've been trying to say here, and with this political situation uh, with Donald Trump in the courts, uh, and Joe Biden being the way he's always been, he's hindering um, Joe Biden. I'm saying Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, but it might be the Congress. I don't, I'm sitting here in a kitchen that was built in 1840s, 1850s, and um, he's sitting in the White House with I don't know how many 
military bases he has in foreign countries. I don't know his intelligence network. I don't know how he's obtaining all of these loyalties um, that uh, he's he's obtaining. Um, but uh, he's hindering things, and the court here in Jeanette is hindering things, and the mayor is hindering things, and the police are hindering things, and that is against the law, and no one's obeying the law because that is not their objective that's not their purpose. That's not their mission. Um, that's not what they are after. That's, they're after something different. Uh, and um, it's worldly things.